In this lesson, we are going to talk about registering a domain name and hosting account. I will also show you different domain hosting platforms, the ones I use and also the ones that are popular in terms of the services and also the features that comes with each of the hosting packages that they offer. So basically, when you host a website, you are trying to put it out there for the public to have access to it. So you are putting your website files and database on the public web. In the previous lesson, I showed you how to host your website locally on your computer such that you can build your website from start to finish without using internet connection and then when you are done you export your files your website files and as well as your database to your hosting account one of the best web hosting companies and i use this company a lot is namecheap namecheap has affordable hosting plans and domain names so the next hosting company i use is domain king i use domain king when i want to register local top level domain like .ng since I am in Nigeria. So depending on your country, you can also find local hosting companies that offer web hosting and domain name registrations with country top level domain. And as you can see, the pricing here is in Nigerian Naira. So I use Domain King when I'm trying to register a country TLD. Now quickly, let me explain what the top level domain or TLD means. As you can see the range of domain extensions here, .com is the most popular and widely used top level domain. So this is a top level domain. Every internet address or domain has a domain ending or top level domain. You can also have .org or .org as a top level domain. So in the case where you have .com.ng, in this case .ng stands for Nigeria. So this is a third level country code top Top level domain it can also come as .co.uk for the united kingdom or .co.za and when you have it as .ng.uk these are called the country code top level domain so depending on what your goals your website goals are you can choose any top level domain country code top level domain or third level top level domains to match your website design goals so the next hosting company we are going to look at is HostGator. HostGator also has a very good hosting plan. It's an international hosting company and also a professional hosting company. It has a good uptime and also provides free SSL certificates. So these are the things you look out for in a hosting company. Namecheap also has a very good server uptime and they also provide free SSL certificates as well. But Namecheap has a very affordable hosting plan than HostGator. So the next on the list is GoDaddy. So most times when you talk about hosting and domain names, GoDaddy comes to mind because they've been in the business for a very long time. They offer flexible web hosting and even WordPress hosting. Same with Namecheap and HostGator. And the next on the list is Bluehost. Bluehost is WordPress friendly, has a good uptime and also supports free SSL. So these are top-notch hosting companies. There are numerous hosting companies on the internet. But for this lesson, I will be using Namecheap. I love Namecheap because they have a very simple and straight to the point user interface. So a novice can actually come on here and know what to click, especially when you know what you're doing. So to start, I'm going to register an actual domain name and a hosting account. And I'm going to take you through the process of registering this domain name and also hosting account. I already have my domain name in mind. It's for a client and I already checked for the availability and the domain name is available for registration. The domain name in question is themillionshoppers.com so I'm going to quickly show you how to check if your domain name of choice is available for registration so open a new tab and then go to whois.com whois is a very big platform when it comes to anything concerning domain names it's like a domain name directory I'm going to enter my domain name of choice themillionshoppers.com then I'm going to search for availability. If the domain name is available, you should see a message like this. Your domain name of choice.com is available. Obviously, 
who is is going to suggest a price and also give you the option to select and agree to this price which means you'll be buying this domain name for this price but i already have my domain and hosting company in mind and of course they offer a more lesser price than this so i will skip buying this domain from who is and rather return back to namecheap and then i will go to hosting i'll select shared hosting there are different types of hosting options here but the best option to use for small and medium businesses is the shared hosting option the wordpress hosting option is going to allow you to install wordpress very quickly but there are limits to what you can do with this option the reseller hosting option is if you want to become a website hosting reseller so you want to buy hosting and domain account and resell them for profit you also have the vps or virtual private server hosting these are for big companies and big enterprises same with the dedicated servers these are for big companies and big enterprises that needs a whole server to run its business and then you can migrate from another hosting company to name chip and of course there is a website builder so quickly i'm going to jump to shared hosting and i'll select shared hosting so here i can see the different packages under the shared hosting plan we have the stellar package which is a basic package and also the stellar plus and stellar business so depending on your preference it's always better to start with the basic one and then if your company grows or you need more resources on your hosting account you can always upgrade as time goes on now this is why i love namecheap for the basic plan or the basic package you have 20 gigabytes of storage for your website files you can host up to three websites and all plans come with the unmetered bandwidth which means there is no limit to how many visitors you can get in a month so you have free website builders domain name and privacy protection if you go to who is for instance you can look up a domain name and then you would see the information of who registered the domain the address and all of those information so namecheap can get that information private for you at no additional cost then you get a free automatic ssl installation and 30 days money back guarantee so you can go ahead and look at all the all the features of the shared hosting plan for namecheap so without wasting much time i'll click on get started for the basic plan which is stellar so this opens up the interface where i would start entering the information for my new domain name and also proceed with the registration process i'm going to select the new domain name option here because i want to register a new domain name and also have the new purchase selected and i'll enter my domain name the million shoppers dot com so without going to who is dot com you can also search for availability of your domain name here so namecheap registers domain for 8.88 dollars per year so i have the dot com top level domain selected because this is the top level domain i want to use now scroll down connect this to a hosting so what this means is i'm connecting this new domain name which i'm trying to register to the stellar hosting account so i'll go ahead and click on connect to hosting the billing cycle is for one year and there is an icon fee so it's the internet corporation for assigned names and numbers here i have my domain name connection and also the total amount then i'll add this to cart so here i'm going to confirm my order and i have the domain registration the million shoppers.com set as a one year duration which is fine by me and then if i scroll down a bit i'll see the privacy and uptime protection so it's enabled and it's free then the premium dns i'm going to leave this disabled and then the stellar package for the million shoppers this is the hosting package for the million shoppers which is the domain name it's set to one month and the cost is 2.88 dollars per month so i'm going to extend this to a year then i'll disable auto renew for this i want to be able to renew manually auto renew is turned off for the rest and then i'm good with my selection then i'll go over here and click on confirm order so this is the part where i'll have to create an account i'll go ahead and choose a username now 
Prior to registering my domain name, I already made a note of the domain owner profile and also the URL of choice. So this is where I keep all the information concerning this domain. So I got this information from my client and then I'm going to use it to proceed with creating the account and also completing the order for this domain and hosting account. So we have the username as the million shoppers. So I will note that down. So I encourage you to do this as well. I'll call this domain account info and then I'll choose a password. You can go ahead and note your password down as well. And then the name of my client. Now for the email address, since I'm going to be creating a custom email from this hosting or this domain name, I created a temporary email from my own personal domain just to create the account. So once I'm done, I'll change the email back to the company's email account. So we would have something like info at the I will show you how to create a a custom email address from your hosting account in the advanced section of this course. So once that is done, I would decide if I want to be signed up for Namecheap's newsletter or not. Well, I don't want to be signed up on this email because this is a temporary email address. So I'll be deleting this email address very soon. So I'm going to uncheck this and then I'll click on create account and continue. So the account has been created and then I'll go ahead to complete the account creation form. So I'll enter the company name and I'll select I'm registering on behalf of a company. Then for job title, I'll enter web designer and then the address of the company. So I'll go back to my notes and I'll copy out the address. So once I've filled out all the necessary information on the form, I'll click on continue. And here is the who is contact information. So I'm going to confirm the who is contact information. So everything looks good to me. And then I'll click on continue. But before then, I'll scroll down a bit to see if there are other additional actions to be taken here. So once I'm done, I'll click on continue here or here. Now this is the time to make payment. So I would select a payment method. So there are about three payment methods on this page. I think you can see here that the first payment method is the secured card payment. And then you have PayPal and account funds. Account funds is when you have some credits, funds in your credit. So you can use your account funds to, you know, either renew your hosting or make payment for any add-ons or services. So in this case, I'm going to use the secured card payment. Then I'll add a new card. So I would enter my name on the card. So here you can check or uncheck this option to remember this card for later use. In this case, I'm going to uncheck it. So here my card has been added. I'll scroll down to see other options. So this is where the receipt will be provided to this address. Automatically renew all my eligible new services. I'm going to leave this unchecked. So this is the final step. I'm going to go over the order review again. The domain registration for the million shoppers is for one year and that's the price. There's a free who is guard one year and also there's a stellar hosting package for the million shoppers.com also for one year. Subtotal payment details and um, I'll have to agree to the terms and agreements so you can open up these individual terms and agreements in your own case and go through them. Then I'll click on the big pay now button. My order is processing. It shows currently two out of three items has been completed. Alright guys, so that is how you buy or purchase a domain name and a hosting account from Namecheap. If you know how to do this, the process is the same with all hosting companies, just that the user interface is different. So if you understand this part very well, you can register a domain name and a hosting account with any hosting company at all. So I'm going to rate my experience and I'll click on next. Done. So guys, that is it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.